What is going on YouTubers, Abdur Sound here from AndroTechBlackspot.com right now with AT&T Galaxy Note and I'm gonna show you how to flash clean ROM on your AT&T Verizon and all the Canadian Galaxy Note 2. So make sure that you're, you have Note 2 with quad core. And those are the careers it works on. So let's go ahead and go into recovery. Now for this you need to have Timo Recovery. If you don't know how to flash Timo Recovery, click the video that's popping up on my finger and uh, install that and then here go to the application and press reboot recovery and you will reboot into recovery if you don't have the application if you want to flash it to clock on recovery you can just power off your phone then press volume up power and uh, center home button that will boot you into your custom clock on recovery or team in recovery from here first of all we are going to back up your system so just swipe it says backup fill I'm gonna use internal then swipe again and backup will start so if it doesn't work in external make sure you use internal SD card or internal storage from your phone and now I will be back once the backup is finished and we'll process it from there on how to install this ROM hey guys so as you can see the backup has been successfully completed and uh, as you can see What's written right there that it does generate MD5 and there is 1452 MB total backup. That's how much it backed up. And it completed in 118 seconds. So that's really cool. All this information will help you monitor your phone better way. So we're gonna hit back button, not reboot, in the corner. Tap it a couple of times. I think it might got frozen okay tap it one more time and you are at the home screen now here we're going to choose say wipe uh cache first of all go back wipe delivery cache go back and here Factory reset it's recommended by the developer as well. System wipe your system because you don't want to have any left or files for your new system that you're gonna flash, aka your clean ROM that we're gonna flash because it will interact with each other and that will create issues for your new ROM and for your phone that you're gonna set up right now. You don't want to do any of this unless you really got corrupted phone or corrupted external SD card. And now we're going to go to install. I have it in my internal, so I'm going to go there. I'm going to go to download. I'm going to go to external. Download. And here is clean 3.5 zip. So by the time you see this uh, video, the version might have been updated and you might get a newer version but as you can see right there the aroma installer will take over and from here we're going to press next and these are the version it supports as you can see right there AT&T Verizon Rogers Bell tell us and I cannot pronounce the last one but I'm gonna select AT&T because that's what I have and from here you have choices of the launcher which one you want I'm gonna select touch is 5 or 6 or let's select 5 by 4 you got NOAA Apex if you want if you want ES file manager or stack file manager so but I recommend stack because it needs to select ringtone in SD card and here you can select all the applications so street view for maps I want that play music I don't want it voice of course not the voice I want Google Play I go now and that will be enough I'm gonna go next and these are the bloatware from here you can select the one you want I don't want all mobile print um, maybe 
S Voice Samsung Cloud Nope VPN client group. Nope, I don't want that. And uh, this is the stuff you're gonna get: multi window control, ad blocking, host file, Dropbox, terminal emulator, Polaris Office Four, Adobe Flash. And swipe so I'm gonna press next and it will start passing the actual ROM and this is cool because this is the first time I have used aroma installer I know how it works but this is the first time I actually used it what aroma installer is it's a installer script that lets you or let the user control what they want to install com compared to the developer you deciding what you want to install like for example, I made a ROM called Objection, Gene Perfection Objection in, uh, in for Galaxy Note One IC One One Seven. If you heard that, you might be familiar with it. In that ROM, when you install it, you install the the ROM the way I want it. You have everything of my choices, not your choices. From here, you can select your bloatware. You did not have Samsung keys on it because I never used it. But here, you can install it if you want. So that's why this ROM is about 900 megabytes. That's quite big. So as you can see, everything is done. And right here, you can see all the applications. I'm gonna go next. And congratulations, clean ROM has been installed. Finish. And you will be right here. Now reboot system. And your phone will boot up. And I'm gonna wait till the phone boot up and uh, you will see a full review coming up once I get complete used to this ROM and I will do 100% review of my opinion plus a walkthrough which way which means you can decide if you like the ROM by by my opinion or by the feel and look of it so keep in touch for that subscribe if you haven't for that I will, I'm going to have no two videos coming up from now on because I just bought that. I'm going to have my Galaxy S3 videos coming up. And uh, Galaxy Nexus videos. Jump back on the note. So this is the first initial boot which will take time compared to your regular reboot time because you're setting up the whole system as of now. So make sure you give it at least 10 minutes before you do anything. So it will take 3-4 minutes for phone to boot up, if not more. Once the phone boots up, you slide it under your pillow and let it stay there for like 5 minutes. Don't do anything. Let the system settle. Let all the processing background run itself before you touch your phone. And that's your cool jelly bean animation with X in the middle. You can see all my fingerprint reflection in there, so let me go ahead and clean that out. Better now. I'm using a DSLR camera to shoot this video and they do a really great job at picking up the footage. As you can see the back it is up that means uh, your phone is gonna boot up there is no boot loops going around and you haven't bricked your phone or soft brick your phone i'm gonna have a video on how to unroot or unsock yeah get it unbricked soon And there you go, the phone has been booted.
as you can see right there. And from there, you can start up your setting process of your phone and get your phone settled down. Thank you for watching, guys. As always, feel free to subscribe, like my videos, and I will see you in the next video, which will most likely be a full review of this ROM.